and weigh up to 80 pounds. Our male, he's about five and a half feet, so he's not quite as long as the biggest. But uh, he's up in his 70s, so they're a pretty large otter. That one's too thick. These guys are found in South America, typically around the Amazon River and other large bodies of water. They are very family oriented. Typically when you find groups, it's gonna be the mom and the dad and then everyone else is gonna be their offspring. Uh, the young will actually stay with the parents for about two or three years and they are very involved in helping raise any future pups with mom and dad for them to learn how to be parents of their own so when they do go out they can be they know what they need to do to be successful as parents. <laughs> what we have here is six otters. We have mom, dad, our two juveniles that were born last January so they're a little over a year old now and then we have our two pups that were born November 5th. Where's this? Where's this? Where's this? Where's this? The dad who has the most white, and it's kind of looking up at me, that is Watoto. Mom's name is Kara. And then our older juveniles, um, we had one male, one girl. Bakari is our male, which is that one right there. And then Lara is his sister. And then our two pups, we have Karina is on the left and Kave is on the right. <laughs> But the way that we can tell these guys apart, other than when we work with them, we kind of know their personalities. But um, no two giant river otters going to have the same throat markings. So if you get a chance to notice that they have some white on their throats, it's very unique to each one of them. The Toto hat tends to have the most white on his throat. <laughs> and then our female Lara, she has the second and then it kind of just goes down on who has the least amount. But it's going to be the location of where the white spots are. <laughs> um, these guys have a very extensive uh, vocab not vocabulary, but um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, communicate, they very much so. Um, can range from what we call a cattle wall, which is a very They also have a recall if they get separated from each other that they do. It's kind of a uh -huh type sound. Um, and they also have growling, grunting. <laughs> How many times a day do they eat? Um, these guys have a high metabolism, so we do feed them five times a day. Uh, right now, as our pups are growing, our diet kind of increases. We base it on their behavior and such, but we are about at 27 pounds of fish a day for all six. But we feed them first thing in the morning when we get in, so it's usually around 7.30. Um, we tend to do a 10 o'clock feeding right before we put them out on an exhibit. Um, always do the noon feeding. Then we usually feed sometime around 3. Um, and then we do a big dinner to bring them off exhibit. So to Thank you. 